Hey guys, welcome back to Hellendale Hot Rods. So on this video, we're going to illustrate the cool tool. It's a cool tool and it's a cheap tool. Easy to use. So who doesn't like that? Cheap and easy to use and cool. It's more money for hot rod parts. More money in your pockets. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? We're going to wait for the video. Hey. It's coming up right away anyways, right? Here's the mighty I-beam. This is uh, one of your most useful and cheapest tools you can have in your garage. Just a piece of I-beam. I've carved, carved out a little piece here, a welded one inch shaft right here. What else do we got here? A little radius right here, inner radius there, 90 here. Uh, I'm going to explain some of the things you can do with it. So for demonstration purposes, here's an early 50s tailgate uh, Ford. So you can see the it's about a one inch rolled edge. All right, so I will... Uh, show you how to kind of duplicate that or a portion of it. So to make that top or bottom rolled edge on the tailgate, um, we obviously have to have enough material for the circum circumference of this uh, shaft, okay? So um, it's about three and five sixteenths for a complete circle, but obviously I can't get all the way around here. So you just gonna have to play with your measurements a little bit on some scrap as I am here. Okay, we're just gonna pretend that this is your, uh, your tailgate. This area is gonna be the rolled edge. So we know the circum circumference of uh, the one inch is that's 3.14 inches, so I'm going to say 5 sixteenths, okay? 3 and 5 sixteenths. Um, but once you get around to... Where's my scrap pieces now? Once you get around to here, if you don't pre-round uh, pre this, the edge, then you run into this and it's hard to tuck it into there. If you're happy with that and you like the look of that, then that's fine too. But, um, you know, if you can be proactive and just bend the edge a little bit. So what we're going to do is put a little piece of, a little piece of scrap on the top here. Um, I've made a line with my square just to line, line her up. A little clamp on there on my messy table. So far, so good. All right. I'm just going to grind the edge off there. It's a little, a little jagged. I just had to grind that edge off. I didn't really like that. So, anyways. We got our trusty leaf spring with the super duper important electrical tape hanging off it. We're just going to give this a little pre. Ooh. Hope that's not too much. Most of your hitting power is in the middle of this. could clamp my eye beam down, but I like to frustrate myself and aggravate myself. I don't think my cut is too straight, but it's scrap and we're playing. Today we're gonna, we're, we're make, play make believe. Now, we're gonna take this three and I think I measured five sixteenths. We're gonna put it just back a little bit 
to the edge of the I-beam. And you gotta play with it. As they say, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, I'm gonna put my hearing protection on. She gets a little, a little loud on the ears. All right, so I really like to use the leaf spring to hammer because you get a little less, uh, you know, marks in it. At this point, you know, you can give it a little bit of, if you want. Seems like a lot hanging over, but trust me, it gets taken off real quick. So far, so good. I have a piece of uh, one inch shaft, the last in North America. Clamp her down one more time. Taking up that material now. Taking up the slack. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna clamp this scrap down. Kinda helps when you're pounding it, it doesn't run away on you. We're gonna move the camera. Being the lefty I am, there. I think we'll use a square hammer. This guy from our local Canadian Tire. Little plug there, I guess. So there you have it.
And then of course, you'd have to run your beads in or have your beads, uh, bead lines or your, you know, little profile lines or your, des whatever design you're putting in there, if you have a bead ruler, uh, or, uh, or, or not, whatever. So I think I can get a little bit more out of this sucker, just a little bit. Now I put a piece of shaft in there, obviously to hold its shape because you don't want it to flatten out at this point in time. All right, well, anyway, so you have a tailgate top or bottom that you can make with the I-beam. So what else can we make on this sucker? Um, you can make a number of shapes with that, obviously. You can make kind of a reverse bend on there. I know on my brake, I, I can't really do that. You just, you know, hammer it one way, hammer it the other. Just flip it over, uh, a little practice there. You can hang it on the wall, hang it in the bathroom. I forgot to mention that, uh, yeah, you can use a bigger radius, uh, sorry, a, a bigger shaft on here for, uh, say, a box side with, a, you know, a bigger rolled edge. Um, the uh, early Ford stuff is uh, got square. On the box, you could put uh, steel uh, steel square shaft on there, uh, or maybe one inch square tubing. I haven't experimented with that yet, but it's obviously possible. You could have, if one so desired, you could have, um, you know, one size on this side, another size or a shape on that side, because you can always use your uh, bottom. You can flip it over clearly. Here we have a box side with a, a rolled edge and a flat top. Here's a early Ford box with the square edge. And here's a 53 GMC Chevy box side. Well, I had a thought to, if you wanted to, for demonstration purposes, if you wanted to, you know, bend this end over. Um, I thought I'd show you on the little piece of I-beam here. So uh, it's one inch. So we're going to have a one inch 90 on there. I mean, this is kid stuff for a lot of people. But, I mean, if you're just getting into this or um, maybe you, you know what you want to do. Like, you, you know how you want it to look, but you're not sure how to achieve that. So... That's what this is for. Keeping it simple. Tell you one thing, the internet is a wonderful place for research. How to do stuff. I just kind of figured this one on my own because I had no money. Still don't have much money, but I'm happy. All right, then, hearing protection. Leaf spring 3000. Like I said, uh, this is probably three feet long and I've done sections three feet long and if you have something longer, obviously you just move it down a little bit. Just get it started. Now, like I said, most of your power is in the middle of this thing. So kind of looks cool. You know, it's kind of, that's kind of goofy, but it's, now it's not a tailgate anymore.
Just gonna finish this off a bit. Right on. Um, now what's gonna happen a lot of times when you're bending it like that, it'll get crooked as crap. But remember, you have the straight I-beam. So that's not going on there like that. You just gotta find your way, kids. Kind of cool. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know. It's, oh, it's one of those things. I just wanted to explain some different things that you can do with this I beam. Okay, so once again, for demonstration purposes on this, uh, scrap piece of metal. Um, we're assuming that, say, you don't have a bead roller or uh, any fancy schmancy equipment. Um, so we're gonna try and make this, an, whoop, we're gonna try and make this edge turn this way on a 90 all the way around. Now, uh, we're gonna assume we don't have a shrinker stretcher either. So what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to uh, make some relief cuts right here as we bend it over uh, just because it's going to want to shrink in that area and it overlaps right now um, we can we're going to make a cut here and here for sure and a cut here and we can fold that over on our i-beam now uh, I don't know if you can see it here but I've actually taken uh, grinder and, and I got a little bit of a rounded edge here. It's kind of a, for a softer edge, if you will. So I'm going to go cut this and uh, I'll meet you back here. I have my little relief slits cut right here. Um, I know there is another way to do this. You can uh, um, you can start hammering it and you use this thing. Uh, oh, it's called a uh, it's like a pinching tool. I, I can't, I can't think of the name right now. But you, you actually pull the material together. But it, if you don't have that, once again, so just going to give it a couple of wax here. Now these slits here were actually a uh, about a sixteenth of an inch thick, and as you fold it down, they come together. So uh, you know sometimes you got to take a little more material out of there. One handing once again. Gonna move that sucker down a hair. All right, so we're gonna hit the front part now. I think I better tighten this sucker up a bit. When you're hitting that, it sure likes to move around on you. Okay.
making some progress. Um, now you can fine tune it. One can never have too many tools on hand. I always, any, any thick steel with a shape to it, I like to hang on to. So I'm just gonna finish this edge off a little bit. you got to find your happy place sorry for making you dizzy there you guys uh, it's hopefully I can got to give you a little better bird's eye view here I believe working space today like I said one can have never have too many cool tools on hand well look at that eh? oh, oh. we will take you down here So um, now what you could do is uh, I would give these a little more of a, just a little more room, a little more slice, uh, weld it up, grind it smooth. And uh, Bob's your uncle, right? So I hope that's helping you guys. You know, it's helped me a lot, this sucker. I don't think I'll ever throw this thing out. Well, that's it for this video with our cool tool. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Stay safe, everyone.